the 10 goes into downtown. I'm able to look kind of forward from my position here in News Chopper 4 and uh, see that for you guys at home while we can keep the camera here on this pursuit that we are directly overhead. Jim Pollard, our pilot here this evening. We've had three days of pursuits pretty much. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and now today. Wild pursuits on Thursday and then again on Friday last night. Understood. Um, I think that's a brightness thing on that monitor because mine look uh, look correct. Try that that top uh, that top knob. It still didn't. That's weird. Okay. do that. How's that? I did have the uh, extender on, so thank you. How close does it come to the 10? Okay. Can we see if we can go up high? We're just monitoring a couple of things up here in News Chopper 4. Uh, we have the Dodger game here tonight. That uh, means that there's a little bit more restricted airspace in the downtown area as we head westbound on the 10 freeway in the Alhambra area. Oh, we have the... Uh,
Okay, some good news here for the viewers at home here. Just working through a few things with air traffic control here to manage our transition through the Dodgers restri restricted airspace. Uh, we are going to be able to pass high above the restricted airspace, and uh, we'll be able to keep a shot for you guys uh, here of this pursuit. I'll widen out the shot a little bit and let you guys know where we are. Kind of in the Boyle Heights area, coming through to the East LA Interchange. There you can see the Union Pacific Railroad uh, rail yard there, and downtown in the top left. This is such an interesting uh, monitoring a number of radios here. Pardon me, everyone. Okay, so uh, as we were saying, this is such an interesting portion of the LA freeway system. You have all these freeways kind of uh, coming to a merge here, and it'll be very interesting uh, to see what these suspects do, who are probably not, you know, I'll go out on a limb and say they'll probably not familiar with the LA freeway system, and now it looks like we're going to take an exit here. Well, look at that. We see these suspects exiting onto surface streets here in the Chinatown area, making a northbound turn into the downtown area. This is not, uh, you know, we're already dealing with the Dodger TFR here, and this is just going to make things a little bit more difficult. But now we might be getting back onto the freeway, and that looks to be the case. We got off the freeway and now back on the freeway, off and then off. And uh, my, what my guess is, what's going on here, is that these suspects are probably not familiar with the LA freeway system. You know, they're going through downtown, uh, unsure where to go, unsure where this traffic is coming from. And CHP now is taking advantage of that, and getting real close. Uh, but now you have uh, the question of how this suspect will behave in this heavy traffic. Monitoring some of the information from CHP right now. Uh, they have two air units overhead to be able to keep track of this no matter what happens with the traffic. If the suspect kind of wiggles on the shoulder or anything like that, uh, that CHP uh, ground units maybe are not able to follow. They'll be able to follow in the air. Another exit here coming up here still in the downtown area. I'm going to widen out the shot here and see what, uh, what this driver has ahead of him. This might be... This might be the 110 South. Okay, he's coming under us now. And we're going southbound 110, southbound 110. A little bit of extra radio traffic that I'm monitoring with this pursuit now, uh, different from other pursuits. Uh, and that's just the dealing with the Dodgers TFR and uh, the multiple um, CHP air assets that they have overhead here. You have the suspect here kind of go going uh, right and left and now back to the right. And uh, going back to what we were saying about the multiple airships over this pursuit, you do have uh, a CHP plane over this. You have uh, two CHP helicopters over this as well. So a little bit more law enforcement than you would normally see, and that might be because of uh, what uh, CHP believes to be these possibly armed suspects. And just a little bit of the excess danger that uh, these suspects might pose to officers. We're going to work our way, uh, we're going to try and position uh, kind of south of the downtown area so uh, the pursuit, we'll let the pursuit come to us because in this uh, situation with all the buildings and whatnot, uh, that's just kind of an easier thing to do. And now, now, let's see here, let's see here. The driver's getting out, the driver's getting out and running across the freeway, running across the freeway, letting the car roll, and we have two suspects running across the North Islands, and one of them jumps and falls, one of them jumps and falls down off the bridge, another one continues.
don't even know what happened to that suspect that jumped and fell down off the on-ramp down below, but you have a number of CHP officers following behind, following this suspect here who is now running on the off-ramp from the 110 in the, uh, I believe that's in the northbound direction, and now this suspect's trying to make a run for it. Now running up in the hill, I'll turn on the uh, night vision up here on News Chopper 4. CHP has some lights there. It helps that he's wearing a white shirt. That's quite the hill there. I'm hearing CHP has one proned out. It looks like that's going to be this suspect here. One suspect proned out. And, uh... I'm not even going to point the direction in the other one that may have fallen off the bridge, or at least jumped off of the bridge from the 110 down to a street below. I'm not hearing any information from CHP on what happened yet to that suspect. We'll come out of night vision mode now. In the downtown area now. Widen up the shot here. You can see a large police presence here. Police have uh, the southbound, actually CHP has the southbound 110 blocked off. That suspect vehicle there in the middle of your screen. And uh, I'm not even sure if there are any law enforcement resources down there below the bridge. CHP is trying to get some resources there under the bridge to see what happened to that other suspect. And uh, here's suspect number two being taken into custody. Yeah, so this is going to be off of the 110. This bridge here is going to be the 7th Street bridge over the 110. And then the parking structure there between 7th and 8th Street. I'm not sure they have any law enforcement resources there below the bridge. This was a very peculiar one. The suspect just came to a stop here on the 110 freeway, and suspects made a run for it. One of, uh, they both ran across the freeway, and one of them jumped, jumps down below, and we do not currently know the condition of that suspect. The other suspect is now in custody. You see kind of traffic flowing normally down below. It's hard to tell. Uh, let's see. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you want to see the other side of it. That's the problem.
Do they know he jumped down below? Oh. Okay. 